Hi everyone, I'm Katya Hardman and I'm going to be telling you about Russian honeybees. So as we briefly discussed in lecture last week, Russian honeybees are a race of Apis mellifera. They originated in the Primorsky Krai territory of Russia, which in the corner of the map you can see highlighted in red. This is originally the territory of Apis serrana, the Asian honeybee, who is the natural host of Varroa jacobsoni. Um, when the Trans-Siberian Railway was constructed 150 years ago, Apis mellifera was introduced, and in that time they have been exposed long enough to develop some genetic resistance. And this is what became the basis of the Baton Rouge breeding program. So in 1997, the USDA caught on to this and imported 100 honeybees from the Primorsky territory to begin doing research on them. They set up secluded colonies at the USDA ARS Honeybee Breeding Genetics and Physiology Lab in Louisiana because they wanted to investigate potential avenues for incorporating these uh, potentially genetic, genetically resistant bees into our domestic breeding stock. And then at the bottom of this slide, you can see the Russian Honey Bee Breeders Association logo. As Dr. Johnson mentioned, it's a trade name because it's nearly impossible to determine the purity of genetic strains. However, the association is very selective about who is incorporated into the breeding program. So this is a graph from one of the USDA studies um, done in the late 90s. And you can see the Russian honeybees are the black bars and the domestic honeybees are the white bars. And the Russian honeybees have significantly lower varroa mite infestations compared to the domestic colonies. Um, researchers at North Carolina State have also found that hybrids show some statistically significant partial resistance. However, it usually only lasts one generation. And part of the reason why Russian honeybees have increased resistance to varroa mites is in their hygienic behavior, which involves the detection, uncapping, and removal of diseased or dead brood. By removing mite-infested brood after capping, varroa-sensitive bees are able to, re to interrupt the reproductive cycle of the mites to lower their populations. They also show increased tolerance to small hive beetles, and they overwinter well which is due to the way they manage their resources. So they're known as being resource responsive, meaning that they discontinue brood rearing when pollen is scarce, regardless of the season. And because brood rearing is directly associated with the flowering period of plants, this disrupts the varroa reproductive cycle by decreasing the supply of hosts available for reproduction, enabling them to preserve colony stores. In terms of disadvantages when it comes to beekeeping with Russian honeybees, um, it varies among testimonies from different beekeepers, but they are generally known to be more aggressive and they are known to have higher swarming tendencies. And beekeepers often lose their newly introduced queens if they're not careful because Russian honeybees can be difficult to re-queen and it takes about 10 days longer to introduce a new queen to the hive. So in summary, Russian honeybees demonstrate genetic and behavioral qualities that increase their survivability. And using Russian honeybees may not prevent varroa infestations but instead make them more manageable. And that's all I have. Thank you for listening.